hello and welcome to this session today we are going to see in a very easy way how you can record your test and then use your recorded test in selenium python into your framework so here i am going to my chrome browser and here i will go to the apps and go to extensions so i will go to web store and here i am going to search for a plugin chrome plugin called catalon recorder so this is a plugin and extension which is available both on Chrome as well as on Firefox so you can also have it on Firefox and this is based on Selenium IDE so we can also use Selenium IDE however Selenium IDE as of the current time is going some transitions and we will very soon get a new and improved Selenium IDE so Catalon Recorder also uses Selenium IDE core however they have some more wrappers over it which gives us some more features so you can go to your chrome or firefox and add the catalon recorder extension i have already added it and once you have this plugin uh, you will find it here in your browser so you can see this is catalon recorder here and i will click here and it will open this window so here you can see this is the window where you can create and record your test cases so i will click on new here and say this is my test one and say ok and now I will click on the record button and now here I can start my recording on the browser so I will go to this website orange hrm demo and I will record a very simple login test so I will add the username add the password and you can see whenever I am making some actions I am getting this pop up which shows it is getting recorded in catalon so I will just log in and after login I will just click click on this welcome link and log out and everything is getting recorded and let me just see and yes you can see everything is getting recorded here and the good thing here is you will see all these steps here and if you click on any of the step and you can go down and you can see the details so this is the command this is the target and this is the value also the good thing here is you can see here it has used id to locate the username text box however it has also captured a lot of other locators like xpath and some other css values as well so just in case if uh, it is not working with the captured id or the captured locator you can use any of these other locators as well the other thing is uh, you can always add new steps and or delete other steps and for example here you can click on this search button and it will highlight it on the web page so this username if I click here it is highlighting it here and it is showing us where it is and also you can find new elements you can click on this find button and then you can go to your browser and you can find new elements from here like this okay so let us also try to replay so you can replay from here so if I replay this you can see it is now replaying going to the application orange hrm and it will then log in with the username and the password clicks on the login button and it will go to the home page and once the home page is loaded it will click on welcome and log out so it is working fine everything is in green so you can see this is working fine now you can see this export button here click on this export and here you can see a lot of options you have you can export in c sharp java uh, then we have catalon studio python robot ruby xml etc so what we are interested here is python web driver plus unit test so if you click this you can see you get the entire code so here is the entire code for our python web driver plus uni unit test you can always save this as a file or you can just select all this text and save it and now i will go to my uh, pycharm so i have actually copied it so i have selected everything and copied it from here and now i will go to my pycharm and just create a new python file so i will say new python file and i will say recorded test and say ok and just copy and paste the entire code here now you can see it has created and generated the entire unit testing code for us so you can just go through this and the good thing here is we have also got some 
useful functions like is element present is alert present close alert and get its text and this is something you can use in your automation wherever you require wherever you require in your automation scripts you can use this uh, so this is all ready the only change you will have to make is here you have to give the executable for your browser driver so here it has used firefox let me change this to chrome and i have to give the location for the chrome driver exe so my chrome driver exe is here i am just going to copy the path i can get the relative path and here i will just add the path for chrome driver exe and now i can test it i will do a right click and run unit test in recorded test so this is opening the chrome browser going to the application logs in logs out and yes you can see everything is okay and everything is in green so this is how you can very quickly create your uh, test you can record and create the scripts for your python test uh, but one thing that uh, you should always take care is this recording is you should be seen as a helping hand you can record and you can see what are the x paths or locators available what are the functions available what are the actions available and what you can use in your script it cannot uh, you cannot just replace your entire framework creation with recording this can be used as a helping hand and then you can take help of these scripts and then do whatever is required or add in your existing framework so this is how you can take help of recording in selenium python i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching